What is up, everybody? Okay, uh, I am pacing around in my house. I'm getting ready to head to PD National Wildlife Refuge. Just kind of take no, take nothing with me. Take um, my car, me, uh, and my phone to film a little video. Just kind of wing it and see where it goes. Um, as you can see, this is not my old house. This is my new old house, an old house. It's an amazing house, a little cabin house, and there's more to come on that later. Uh, maybe not even in this video, but um, lots of changes. It's been quite a few months since the last video, so I am just pacing around my house. Yeah, just gonna kind of wing it. It's time um, to kind of get get back in the saddle as far as like video content, and so anyway, we're off. So here we go. Um, let's go. We're going. That's a boat. Making a little pit stop before I head out to Wildlife Refuge. And apparently last night, uh, the Dixie Chicks were in town. Or the Chicks, whatever they're called nowadays. Traffic was like crazy bad. Tonight, Garth Brooks is in town. So it's like a 90s country reunion um, of all these these people coming out of the woodwork, I guess. I mean, I would like to see, uh, what's his face? Um, Chris Gaines. I mean, uh, Gar Garth Brook uh, tonight, but I ain't paying for that. That's a lot of money to pay for that one dude. Funny story, I worked a Best Buy store in Greensboro, North Carolina, when the Garth Brooks, um, Chris Gaines album came out, when he, like, had this alter ego rock star kind of, like, emo swoosh haircut thing and I never really even listened to it I like for forbid myself to, to listen to it but the amount of people that lined up to buy that album that day that it came out many many years ago was insane so I imagine the traffic around here today is a lot of those it's a lot of those same people that probably have the Chris Gaines CD all up in there uh, CD player. Talk about some random stuff. Oh, I got more. That's what this whole channel is going to be about. Probably. Made it. made it to uh, part of the um, Carolina Thread Trail or the Uari Thread Trail, PD National Wildlife Refuge um, area, uh, Ansonville and Wadesboro, North Carolina. There's a trail that goes out to the, the this covered bridge, um, lots of spider webs, uh, so it's clearly not been, the trail hasn't been walked in a long time. gonna wing it oh man yeah i just wanted to come out uh to a spot that i would not been before and really get some cool like i had to get some photos for work and um figured i would just uh film this i can't i can't stop looking back at this this it's it's crazy um just out there i want to fish here um i don't know if i can but anyway um yeah lots changed uh it, i haven't put any video content up on the channel um, at all this year. I don't think, I, I really didn't um, even plan to to shoot this. Um, I've, I've actually shot this video probably five or six times. I'm in my car, driving, sitting at home, sitting on my porch, sitting in the woods, fishing, sitting on my boat, and nothing ever um, 
came to be that I that I really wanted it to be. So I figured I would just strip it down and uh, kick it. Just find a spot and and kick it in the woods somewhere quiet um, with no like not a whole lot of background noise. Um, so what better place to do it than PD National Wildlife Refuge is in like the Wadesboro Ansonville area of North Carolina. Uh, with that said, we can get into it. Let's see, quick, super duper, high level overview of where I have been and what I've been doing. So I'm out on my own again, as far as work goes. I've started another company as far as work goes. I am disengaged, as in not a fiance anymore. I live in a different house. I have a lot more space. I have a lot more land. Kids are thriving. They're the best they've ever been. Let's see what else? Uh, I'm fishing a lot more. Bought a boat. So I just wanted to to make this video and say like, hey, I'm I'm still here. I'm you know I don't I don't do it for uh, strictly for the money. I don't do it for um, anything other than to create content and do things for work um, and my clients and that sort of stuff so uh way more to come um reasonoutdoors.com if you haven't been yet please go there antsanders.com antsanderscreative.com um and subscribe to the channel click the like button click the the little notification dingy bell thing pretty much it in a nutshell it's hot out leaving the wildlife refuge now gonna go uh to the animal hospital to pick up uh some ashes that i'll explain man so much has changed i'm glad you guys are still along for the ride all 10 of you thank you <laughs>